Assalamu alaikum. My name is Haba Maksud. I'm a member of the ISCJ community. And today I'm going to teach the community how to make an authentic Egyptian dish called kushiri. So let me begin by talking about the ingredients. You have to have rice, some lentils, onions, pasta, sauce, some salt, which I like to use Himalayan salt because it's actually better for absorption, pepper, cumin, and it's in this ghetto type of container because it actually comes in bags from Egypt, and some oil. I happen to have gotten this blessed oil from El Quds, from the trees at El Quds, so it means a lot to me. Okay, so let's get started. Re regarding the onions, this is actually a quantity for about six people. So you're gonna need at least four to six onions, uh, depending on the size, and you're gonna need about two and a half cups of rice. I went ahead and actually chopped up the onions. One thing to note about the onions is that some people like to really chop them up and have something that's you know really, really um, big and thick, and some people like it to be ground down. I personally like it ground down, so you know, to each his own. You're gonna put a little bit of oil in the pot, and you're actually gonna take, this is actually four huge onions, and you're gonna put it in here, and you're gonna saute it. So while that's actually sauteing, and we're just gonna like make sure that it covers all of the oil. Okay. We're going to make the pasta. I went ahead and actually boiled the water, I happen to like to use elbows. You can also use ditalini or any type of small circle. Make sure you add some salt so that it tastes a little bit good. There, I'm gonna take my boiled water, boil it. It's gonna take about 30 minutes to complete. Unfortunately, because of the virus, I wasn't able to renovate my kitchen. It's one of the things that I was supposed to do. But I want to also talk about the uh, carbohydrate nightmare that is kushiri. So it's kind of like comfort food. It's street food in Egypt, but it's very, very delicious, especially when you're um, making the sauce. So one of the ways that we actually make the sauce is we use a lot of cumin and a lot of garlic. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare the garlic and I'm going to show you what that looks like in a few minutes. So I'm adding the boiled water. Because I did two and a half cups of rice, I'm gonna double that and do five cups of water. I boiled it separately, so it would just take less time. Was that four or five? Just kidding, it was three. Four, five. Okay, one other thing about the rice is that you must make sure to also add cumin. And in this case, because we want a lot of cumin, we're gonna add like about a teaspoon we're gonna add some pepper. As my mother says, bilwayan, which means by, by looking. And again, a couple of pinches of Himalayan salt. We let that simmer. We're gonna let that boil first. And then as soon as, just like you're making regular rice, you're going to let it boil, and then as soon as it boils, you're going to lower it, and you're going to simmer, and inshallah, it's going to turn out delicious. So, I just took out the fried onions. They have to be caramelized, and I left about one onion into the pan. Put, putting this aside, I added two cups of rice. Here's the other half. I'm doing two and a half. I'm just waiting for the water to boil. I'm going to take the bag of Goya and I'm going to put it in here. Once that water boils, we're going to leave that to simmer for about 45 minutes. In the meantime, the macaroni is finished and I started on the sauce. I let the little bit of onion, crushed garlic, about six or seven cloves with my can. I'm going to add the spices. 
This is the cumin. Again, um, it's really just kind of like by taste, but I usually like to shake it. Real Egyptians put a lot more. As I said, there are parts of Egypt, like Alexandria, where they put a lot of vinegar on it. It's optional. Put some pepper, add some salt, and I also let that simmer. I want to show that for the camera. Use wooden spoons. It's obvious I probably need a new pot and pan set. By the way, Egyptians are famous for their sarcasm. I'm actually making more onions because that's not enough. And that's it. I will be right back to show you the finished product. So it's been about 45 minutes. I tasted the rice using another spoon and it's ready to go. So this is what kushiri looks like. Again, it's rice with lentils. And we put a little bit of macaroni on top. Spread it around. As I said, not good for keto people. Put a little bit of onion on top. And usually I like them a little soft, but a lot of Egyptians actually like them crunchy. I like them caramelized. And we then take a saucepan and pour that on top. Like that. And then it's optional for you to add vinegar. And that's kushiri, alhamdulillah. Before you start, say bismillah. <laughs> 